So hi, I'm gonna I'm here to show you my uh, blood magic discharge skill. Kind of like remade it for um, the new league. So one of the differences is the benchcrafted mods, and there were a couple changes to the tree that made it I think a bit worse or better. I'm not really sure. One of the nodes that was removed was called elemental adaptation, which gave plus two to maximum resistances. So, it's kind of an important node when you have a really, really high damage capacity, like currently this character does 13... Oh, what was the rampage on? 12,971. And that's multiplied by multipliers, so it's times 6 of that. Um, which means it does a lot of damage per hit. Like, 70k-ish. If you add in the penetration gem, it makes it do a lot of damage. Um, that's kind of a problem because Volpact, or there's a node called Volpact, which gives you instant leech, but if you hit reflect and do enough damage, you can one-shot yourself through reflect. So currently my damage um, capacity for uh, this character is about 108,000 damage per hit. If I do more than that, I die to reflect. Or actually, no, this is 137,000 damage per hit. So if I do more than that, I die to reflect in one shot. Doesn't matter what I do. Um, you can prevent this by using a topaz flask, or say getting more max resistances somewhere, like say corrupted a chest or an amulet to get plus one max resistance. And that could raise your allowable damage a little bit. But in general, um, that's kind of an issue. The other thing is that with the um, with uh, less to max resistance, so. I don't have any plus max resist resistance. There's the leech capacity. So with level 20 gem, there's 8.8% leech on a life leech gem. And after you take the vault pack multiplier and apply it to it, you get 3.5% effective leech. And if you look at the reflect of 14% times your resistances, so you take 25% of that damage with the capture resistance, uh, the Reflect damage is about 3.5%. It's a little bit lower, actually, so if you hit unlimited targets, you will survive. However, if this effective leech number is lower than this percent damage taken from Reflect, uh, if you hit enough targets, you'll just whittle yourself down because you take more damage than you leech back. So you leech, say, 800, then you take 1,000, so then you leech, like, 800, and then take 1,000. Eventually, you'll do so many hits that you just sort of die. <clears throat> so, uh, that was one of the strange things that they changed. However, this can be mitigated because there are, um, benchcrafted mods. So all of my gear has, like, a bench mod on it of something. It makes gearing the character out, uh, really a lot easier. And one of the things you can do is craft on lightning leech, or just an elemental leech. And this makes a huge difference because of the, uh, change to just capture distances. So it makes this number go to like 9.8 instead of, say, 8.8, which means that you have a lot more effective leech percent. Um, but dis like this version of Discharge will never be hardcore viable, and there's one really specific case where it just won't work. So, say I can run across a Reflect Mob, whatever, they're not shocked because I haven't discharged on me at the done nothing, so they're just free and they're not cursed, I haven't cursed them, you know, I forgot to hit my flask because I'm an idiot, so if I hit my flask this goes to 0.12 and I'm fine. So say all that happens, and I go to discharge and reflect pack, you know, I might be like off screen a little bit, and right when I do it, say I get hit by arc and it shocks me. Now this percent damage taken is more than the effect of leech routines, if I hit enough targets I die and wheel myself down, not to mention that I'm taking way more damage anyways, and I can just one-shot myself easily. So, uh, that's kind of the reason why I just, I can't really ever recommend this build for just, like, a hard, hardcore viability, unless you really tone down the damage, and, like, always keep a topaz flask up, or just something to mitigate it, or run, like, all the purities or something, and never group with anyone who multi-curses, or does, like, elemental equilibrium. Um, so yeah, the tree is basically the same. It's actually kind of a bit better than it was, because it's a lot easier to- ooh, a gavel. 
because it's a lot easier to get dexterity. So I started as a Templar. Uh, it's probably better to start as a Scion, actually, because you get 28 resistance. You lose 8% area of effect, but you get 28 all res and uh, some more damage. You know, like these four points go over here. These five points go over here, and it costs one more point, but you get a lot more benefit out of it. Um... So, these flask effect nodes are actually really important, just because they provide more um, to max resistance. And uh, they're really, really strong, especially since after a while the only way to really scale the damage on the character is actually by movement speed. So I've actually uh, given my amulet and belt increased movement speed, the crafted mod onto it. It also makes this uh, topaz flask go really, really fast. So, 130% movement speed with a flask up, it's uh, quite fast. So, um, what else? How about it? That's about it. Just get crit capped and uh, start blowing shit up. Um, this is pretty much with all 20 quality gems. Usually I always demonstrate some with like level 18 gems that like have kind of only quality on the gems that really need it. This is kind of like the uh, end game of it. So still fairly cheap. Um, all my weapons are, yeah, both my weapons are actually just completely crafted. So, uh, that's Blood Magic Discharge, the new version, and I will see you next time. So, Volspark crits, I win. If it doesn't crit, I actually have to fight. Let's see what happens, shall we? Okay. I think I, I, think I won.